Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. Outset of a Power Struggle. Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. We somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget, and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Seros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Fodlan. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? I appreciate it. I... I'm just anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month. 
will soon be locked in battle. Long devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlan. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlan. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, the latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros, and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth, and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation, and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrett Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure.
We will soon arrive at Garig Mog Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready! Let's go! Let's fight! I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win! How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can... prepare to repair. There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now, let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. Friends, our opportunity for victory will come, but first, we must see to our defenses. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must crush them swiftly. They should be wary of ambushes as well. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. 
We must push back with equal force. Stay focused. I will get the victory. No use. My heart is full of victory. Ferdinand von Eyre. I knew Her Majesty's allies would help us out. 
More polish never hurt. One more success. Now, hidden soldiers, attack! If you side with the Empire, if you turn your sword on the Church and on the Kingdom, I care not who you are. I will end you just the same. Prepare yourself! In my Master's name, I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. You will survive this hardship. Just hold on! Flame Spirit protect me. Hard work created this. One step before the next step. How humiliating. This is harder than expected. They seemed ripe for defeat. Doubtless this is a temporary game. Winning's always nice. Your defeat was inevitable. Thank you.
This was beneath me. be awful losing to me. It's simple logic. You still can, Flane. I beg you. Understood. Stay safe, uh, brother. We will lend the Empire strength. Don't worry. We're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Show no mercy to anyone who attacks Rhea. Behold our strategy.
traitor! I will not forgive you for turning on Rhea! I cannot yield! Setif, Flame, Gilbert. You put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any longer. Come forth! Protect Garrick Mach Monastery from those despicable rebels! I'll crush them all. Her enemies are my enemies. Another subject mastered. Let's 
show you a plan. Didn't even enjoy it.
step before the next step. Greatness awaits me. Apologies for the trouble, Your Majesty. Kill you. Lady Rhea, I couldn't fight hard enough. I'm sorry. Soon, your sacrifice will not be in vain. Progress. I am Thunder Catherine, and I will slay all of Lady Rhea's enemies, including you! All is well, Catherine. You must not die here. I will no doubt make use of this. Yeah! <laughs> 
Thanks for helping. dwells within? <laughs> Truly, you weren't meant for combat. If only sales were this good. You betray me, you worthless piece of garbage. I will punish you myself. Watch him. I cannot permit you to go on living any longer. The feeling is mutual. I must put a stop to your reign of tyranny. You must know what a fool you are. The greatest of sins is to make an enemy of the goddess herself. I have only made an enemy of the church, not of the faith. Allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. Crumbling! We must escape! Professor! Take cover! Professor! In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. After a hard-fought battle, she was forced to retreat to Ferdiad, the capital of Fargus, where she must now plan her next move. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlin has begun.